Greetings, it is I, Susie Q. Uh, I've been doing hypnosis for a number of years, and I really um, am having fun with it, actually. It's been helping a lot of people through the subconscious mind and clearing some things out, bringing some new energy in. So that's been a great win for me up here in sunny Scottsdale. All right, so we're going to get started right now. It's about statement starters to help you to form sentences that are believable and positive. Here are some sentence starters. And here is an example. <laughs> I enjoy automatic writing. I love it. I surely do. <laughs> I enjoy my sweet, sweet family. I've got uh, my son and my daughter, and then there's six grandchildren. It's just a joy. I choose happiness all the time. Sometimes it feels like I'm not really happy, but then I can start doing something different. I can start writing. I could start, you know, processing some of these videos or going outside and taking a beautiful walk. All of that is extraordinarily wonderful. I choose happiness all the time. I choose happiness all the time. That's awesome. When we feel that energy that we're always in the best place and the most ex beautiful experience, it's all kind of like fantastic. I'm working towards more abundance. I mean, raise your hand if you need more abundance. Hello, call me, call me, call me. So that abundance stream is always kind of in a state of, it's almost like it's precognitive. You know, like you, maybe you feel like you don't have a lot of abun abundance or funds or things like that, but you, you it's kind of precognitive. You got to jump in to that field of energy and find and, and really access and take it in those uh, amounts of abundance. I now create more words on the page. <laughs> Yeah, I got a lot of words on the page. <laughs> I got a lot of words since 2008 to now, right? So I've been working a lot with the Akashic Records and um, having fun with it. All right, so the next one is look forward to more travel and fun. And so with this, I, you know, we've been traveling a little bit down in Texas with my kids and grandchildren. And then we do a lot of stuff in Vegas as well. But I want to go to more, I want to have more uh, international trips. I'm really kind of like focusing on international fun places. <laughs> so, all right. I am in the process of press process of letting things go and it's so easy to let things go sometimes you kind of hold on to stuff too long it's just i'm still holding on to too much stuff and then all of a sudden you can start you know immediately immediately releasing a few things it could be something in your little kitchen drawer and you could let, let that stuff go let some of those things that have been there for like 20 years or 15 years so letting go is really important because there might be some other cool things that will be coming through I'm also committed to my Akashic Records. Um, <laughs> I've been doing it since 2008. I've been writing a long time, and I love and embrace the words. Sometimes when I'm listening to that still small voice, I'm kind of like figuring out, like, what are actually the words meaning? <laughs> so that so it's really funny. It's kind of like Akashic Records, and then it goes to automatic written pieces. And some of the words are so tricky, right? So, but it's been uh, really fun. And I enjoy um, working with these beautiful words, 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 frequencies and energies. And I like it early in the morning. In the early in the morning, it's like so solidly peaceful. You know, I get up probably about four or five in the morning and I take these walks. I do about 10,000 steps every morning. And so the morning time is really um, spectacular for me. I love it when I see my grandchildren. And so my grandchildren are from four years old to, to 22 years old. I love my grandchildren. They're in different places. Um, but I just, just really love them. I just truly love these grandchildren. And it feels good when expectant when we're expectant of miracles. And so I think every one of us has this capacity to look at miracles. And they could be like teeny tiny miracles, or it could be a big miracle. But sometimes it starts with maybe some little uh, good things that just happened, or somebody called you and it was really fun, or somebody said, hey, let's go have coffee, or let's go on a trip together. These expectant of miracles can always be happening all the time. I prefer my networking buddies. So I'm starting to get more buddies here. You know, with networking, I'm doing things with um, Optimal Health Systems. That's where I do scripts for people. And I'm also working with uh, 
life wave and these patches are you know stem cell things it's just so extraordinary i can't really even process it but it's working for me i'm absolutely loving both of these ohs and life wave uh, i can do anything that i want i can do whatever i want i could do this or that or go up and down i mean it could be jumping around it could be anything i can do anything that i want anything that i want will be showing up for me from each day and each moment that something else is coming through that's going to be um, assisting with me helping me giving me effective action or going into a different mindset all of that is super groovy. <laughs> I'm willing to go deeper with the healing of my body. So I work with a chiropractor. I have a lot of nutrition here at the house. Um, and I work with a lot of what we call a neuroemotional technique that's NET. And I'm working with that. And then I'm working with life wave patches. All of these things that I am accessing for the healing of the body has been an extraordinarily joyous time for me. I've never had the best nutrition before, but it's, but it's extraordinarily wonderful. I'm learning to listen more than before, right? So I, then I kind of go into more of not solitude, but quietly listening. You know, sometimes I was like, back in Houston, I was like, kind of, I was like, so crazy, right? You know, I was like a wild chick, right? Uh, but now I'm kind of getting more into a state of um, a presence of, of, the quietude and that's been helping me as well too i am practicing some of my yoga practices and with that um, i've been kind of talking a little bit about yoga nidra and san sankalpa and that's a really beautiful practice uh, that i did i actually was doing that back in texas and it's been extraordinarily great because you start getting um, a big a big picture and it's going to take a little bit of while it could be six months to 18 months before the fruition actually happens with your sankapa it's really super juicy i choose to feel expectant of goodness <laughs> I want to be feeling good and expecting it. So <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so that expectant of goodness, it's always coming in. People think, oh, there's nothing happening here um, or it's the slowdown or something, but I'm always expectant of goodness. And it could be from, you know, my friends. It could be from my family. It could be the cat down the street. Every day in every way, I feel myself attracting that which I seek. So let me say that again. Every day in every way, I feel my, myself attracting that which I seek. So we look at that kind of like the law of attraction. We start looking at things and then we start thinking like, oh, it's never going to happen. It's, you know, I tried it and didn't work, you know. So all of those kind of things are showing up. But then eventually you'll start looking at with the, uh, I feel myself attracting something, is that something else is conspiring to support you, to give you more guidance, more understanding, and more fun. Don't you want more fun, right? I'm open to receiving more friendship. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> I miss a lot of friends from Texas. And I've got a few friends up here, you know, with OHS. And also, um, I've got all these other little people that I'm working with, and also with my LifeWave family. So all of these things have been supporting me. I also go to church, I, you know, love I have like a lo lot of lovely friends there as well. All right, so so we're going to give another example. I'm open to receiving the highest expression of words on the page. All right. So when we're working at these prompts, these are kind of prompts, you know. So I did a little bit of a prompt, and then I talked a little bit about what was going on with Susie, right? And then um, eventually um, we'll take a look at that and see what you think. So some of the prompts will be easy for you to understand for yourself. And I just kind of created my own prompts. But these are starters when you're talking about somebody or you're wanting to experience things in a different way. Starters get you going. It kind of gives you um, uh, an opportunity to just like go like, I think it's, I think, I think I need to do something different because it's really good because this mindset energy that we have is so spectacular that it's really helping us to go, you know, deeper with, you know, a bunch of our things that we're working with and what we're creating and what we're, you know, with that and where we're resting at. So all of this energy has been my pleasure and joy. And again, this was all about the premises of some of the hypnosis uh, prompts that we, that we can take a look at. So we'll see you soon and namaste. <laughs>